You're a ghost. Also, that was all recorded. And no, it wasn't. It. Yeah, absolutely. No! Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, today, we got something cool. Uh, if you were watching my Instagram, if, if you should, you can go check my Instagram. I, I always post the coolest shit coming down the pike on Instagram first. Um, a lot of people are probably getting old police straight in guns that come with old shitty, I'm trying not to point at myself, old shitty night sights. Um, so for shits and giggles, I decided what I was going to do is relamp, looks like they're going to going to relamp my night sights on this gun. Uh, this is on a Glock 19 that I have. Um, I bought this old rear night sight one years ago. For five bucks because the lamps were dead and somebody was basically just giving them away. So I bought it because I figured, what the hell, I'll find a reason to use it. So I successfully relamped the left one and um, I'll take you guys along and show you how to relamp the right one. So stay tuned and uh, I'll show you what you need and how to take it all apart and put a new tritium vial in your night sights. Let's do it. So you want to re-trit uh, your night sights. Here's the stuff that I used, and then I'll take you through how I actually did it. Um, first thing you're obviously going to need are some tritium vials. These are from Mix Glow. These are two. I have two left because I'm going to do the other one and then one on the front side. Um, these are 1.5 by 3 millimeter, I think is what they are, listed on Mix Glow. So get yourself three of those. They're six bucks a piece, they're not too expensive and they ship pretty quick. The other thing I picked up, which was actually turned out to be really helpful, is UV activated um, acrylic. Acrylic, UV activated adhesive. This is uh, Norland uh, NOA 61. It's a UV activated adhesive, so you put it in with a night sight and then use a UV lamp to um, to activate it and it hardens rock hard. And with that, I bought a UV flashlight. That is now already dead because I think I don't have a battery in it. Um, but then you use the UV flashlight to harden the acrylic. The other thing I used, um, when we get out there, I'll tell you what size this is, but this is the right, the correct diameter that uh, fit my Glock sight. I also use some jewelers um, screwdrivers and some jewelers tweezers to help kind of facilitate cleaning the junk out of the site. Um, but again, I'll show you how to do all that. All in all, this, these here, I think with shipping ran me 35 or $36, something like that. Um, and then whatever tools you have laying around is what obviously what you're going to use. But let me, uh, let's take you outside. I'll show you how I did this and I'll show you how to relamp one of these. Um, Let's do so it. So what we're gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna use some acetone. Um, run some acetone through here, scrape out all the paint and other stuff that's in there, take the old lamp and the lens that's in there out, and then we're gonna run a drill bit through it to clean it out and insert our new lamp. So get ready for some high speed footage because you guys can no way wanna sit through this whole process. <laughs> There is the little glass lens that's on top of, you can see the, the adhesive coming out with it. That's the little glass lens that is on top of the tritium vial. So we're gonna go for the tritium vial next. We may crack it. Uh, do this in a, listen, the amount of tritium that's in this is not never gonna really hurt you, but do this in a well-ventilated area in case you crack the vial. Uh, you, you don't wanna be breathing in <laughs> radioactive material. So do this outside, do this in a garage, do it where you, you have some good ventilation. Yep, 
I think that's enough. We're gonna try, I'm gonna close this up. Um, we're going to now take the drill bit over to, I'm using a mill, you can use a hand drill probably just fine, and we're gonna drill this out the rest of the way. So let me get over there real quick. All right. <clears throat> Number 41 drill bit into the hole. Listen, back of the class people, you're not paying attention, so listen up to this one. The one and a half millimeter vial will sit proud, so when you, after you ream all this out and clean it out, go a little deeper on the, the drill bit, drill out a little bit of the bottom so the site will sit flush. If you don't do it, you'll see what I mean. Let's do this. All right, let's go relamp it. All right, here comes from the fun part. We're gonna add a new lamp. First off, I'm gonna make sure the hole is deep enough for this lamp before I start filling it with adhesive. Well, you're gonna have to mind the shaky hands because that is part of who I am. So yeah, I drilled just far enough to where that lamp sits just below flush, which is perfect. So lamp is in. I'm actually gonna take it back out real quick. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive. Be careful with these lamps, they're very delicate. We're gonna add a little bit of adhesive first. So a uh, nice thing is they send it with an eyedropper. So I'm gonna use the eyedropper to pick up a little bit on the front and you need very little of this stuff. You don't need a whole lot. Notice I'm holding myself cause I am super shaky. And I'm trying not to. Hand P to the rescue. Put a little bit actually just like that. Another drop. Oh, thanks for honking ass. Okay, so we got a little bit of adhesive in the bottom. Where do you pick up our lamp? Gotta reorient it. Sorry, you're gonna have to deal with my hands. Shakiest hands on the planet. All right, in it goes. Let it settle into the adhesive, make sure that string isn't there. We wanna try to get it centered, obviously. So we're gonna grab it before we drop it all the way in. Try to bring it to the middle. And then down we go, like that. And just like a booby, you don't want that nipple lopsided. It's gonna look real weird. So <laughs> we're gonna add a little bit more adhesive. And then we're going to, let me grab a little bit more off this. Tiny bit more adhesive. So main thing here, center it up. Get it to sit centered. Make sure you're happy. I have a little more than I want. So there you go. You can see it's centered. It's a little heavy. So I'm gonna remove a, just a little bit of this adhesive. Remember you have time, because this ad adhesive is um, UV activated, so you got some time to play with it. I'm gonna put it in the center. We're gonna take our UV light. I'm gonna add some UV and make sure I get it centered while it's activating. And we will activate it. Now, <clears throat> what I would do personally is I will let this sit with the UV light on it for about 10 minutes. Um, it takes about a week to fully cure where uh, any acetone or anything will mess with it and it's super, super hard. Um, plus I believe the website said within that week the Grain structure of the um, adhesive will actually help, will actually kind of bond with the glass. So it'll be perfect. This is this is actually an optical adhesive. So we'll come back, I'll finish off, and that's pretty much it. Give me a second, you'll catch me back. And just like that, we have some fresh ice blue night sights on a Glock. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Obviously, I'm going to have to take it and do some shooting and see how they hold up. Who knows, maybe they'll fall apart really quickly. But uh, either way, it's a fun experiment, you know. Junky night sights turning on to maybe good night sights. We'll see. If you guys like this sort of weird content, let me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this sort of crazy stuff that I get up to. Um, we have a bunch of stuff coming down the pike. Uh, some lathe, some milling things, some machine shop stuff. Uh, I didn't die, so we got some more stuff coming. Uh, but uh, until then, I'll catch you guys later.